It's music reaction time! Ah, oh, yeah! And today we got a real special Chris Clifford treat, Lulu. Yeah? Yes, this is something I wanted to show you for a while. We just haven't had time because we've been busy moving and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is a video of Chris singing live and it was recorded by one of our fans. Uh-huh. And uh, he wanted to share with us. He's like, you guys been awesome covering Chris Clefford stuff. You're big fans. So I want to just give you guys a little bit of a treat here. Oh. That's right. This is Jimmy Olsen, who actually runs a Chris Clefford fan page on Facebook. So if uh -huh. you're a fan, go like it. Go subscribe to it. And uh, yeah, I just want to share this with y'all. He gave us the thumbs up. Let me put this out there. And uh, he's got a, uh, you know, a little a message for us, too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like this. I wish I had time to have put this out when Chris was still on America's Got Talent. Mm. But as you all know, we're going to continue to do reactions to Chris. We're going to continue to track his progress of becoming a global sensation. And uh, hey, fans for life. That's right. We are going to support all the way. That's right. Even if we don't last, our fandom will last. That's right. <laughs> and Jimmy... Once again, thanks so much for being a fan of us, being a fan of Chris, making it so that all the fans of That's Chris right. Mufford are having, honestly, a place to go to and appreciate something that they, we all have in common. Like a, so. the community yeah, that you community. created. Yeah, the community that you created is just so awesome. That's and we're so right. happy to be part of it. Let's do this. And away we go. Hi, Lulu and John. Yimmy from oh. Chris Clefford Fans Worldwide here. Ah. Just want to say a few words to you now you know, when Jimmy. I have the opportunity to do so. First of all, thank you so much for your reaction videos. Great to see them. So much fun. You have so much uh, uh, chemistry and uh, humor when recording. And I just <laughs> love watching your videos. So oh, please I keep giving us more. And of course, thank you, you for course. supporting Chris Clefford and uh, us over at the Chris Clefford Fans Worldwide. So first off, Jimmy, I want to know where you got the hat. Yes. I, I want that hat. We want that. We've just reached uh, a thousand members and you're a part of that. Your videos are always appreciated uh, and we will keep posting them in our group. Let me finish by giving you some background about the video I've sent to you without spoiling the reaction. Uh, Chris, as you may know, uh, were the support act to uh, the iconic Swedish pop group Gyllene Tejda this summer. Gyllene Tejda means golden times in English. They were celebrating 40 years together and made their farewell tour uh, throughout the country of Sweden. Uh, this summer. Wow. And uh, you may know together, uh, the lead babe. singer in uh, Julian Taylor, Per Gessle, who also was uh, uh, one part of uh, the world famous Swedish pop duo Roxette. Oh, you may Roxette. have heard some of their songs. Uh, perhaps it must have been love. Yes. But it's over now. Yes, Jimmy. You know the one from <laughs> Jimmy. We're just showing off there a little there, buddy. <laughs> Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts yeah. and uh, Richard Gere in 1990. <laughs> anyway, I was at one of the last uh, concerts of the tour at uh, Ronny Bibrun in southern Sweden. And because Chris was a support act, he did not have uh, a whole orchestra behind him. So the song you're about to hear, Cold at the Altar, is quite different from the studio version. Mm. That by no means like like it's that. bad, just different. So without further ado, let's play the video. And thank you so much again for being so awesome. Let's go. That was awesome, Jimmy. I really... Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's pretty close. Maybe like five rows back. Broken stainless lights the lining Hardly sitting on my own Will the hills to see the light why do you me all alone? I'm so overweight and full of miracles. Oh my God, my life would be running out of time. It's only you and I are in this world. And I stand here singing hallelujah. I love this chorus part of the song. It's so powerful. Mm. 
It's really interesting how they play with that kind of, I don't know what the instrument, instrument that is. Yeah. yeah. They do that a lot in uh, country music to create a, it almost sounds like a weeping sound, like you're crying. I'm shocked the quality of this video and the sound really from a good. cell phone. Yes. It's That's so from the cell phone? Yeah. Wow. Does that? It's just a amazing contrast when he's growling. Why the crowd is so quiet. So they said that Swedish crowds tend to be much more civil. Ah, uh, not like us. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't a rave or nothing like that. So, well, how would you want them to react? Jumping up and down? No, and I would scream. Sound? I don't think this is the song okay, for okay, screaming. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Maybe it's just the fan of me. So first off, Jimmy, you're wow. lucky I didn't sit in front of you because my bald head would have reflected all that sunlight and you would just got a <laughs> glare coming back at you. <laughs> poor thing. Poor I know. Jimmy. It ruined the whole video. I would have ruined your video. whole video right then and there. <laughs> That was beautiful. That was a really interesting take. I mean, the chorus is very familiar, but the way they play the rest of that song, I love especially it. with those instruments, which I don't know what they're called again, but I want to, I want to go find yes. out. It's very rare to hear that kind of thing anymore. Even the country music is very rare now. Mm. I love the rawness of the song. It's just purely instrument and the vocal. Oh, Chris' vocal, I just can't explain. I love. I just love it. <laughs> Dang! Wow, this is so nice! So nice, You Jimmy. talk about a treat and a half. We've now experienced this a couple of times where the fandom gives back to us. And mm -hmm. it's not something that we would ever expect. And when it happens, it just really goes to show one is like, there are certain fandoms out there that really go out of their way to build that community. And I, do, I think the Chris Clifford fan <laughs> why, base Why you talk really... like so emotional? <laughs> Why are you crying or Because you talk like so... I know, I know we're so thankful. <laughs> but I am thankful, man. Yes, but I, I But I can keep my stuff together here at least. I, I'm just saying, I really am touched, right? Yes, because we are touched. Because this fan base has really been one that, ha in particular, 
has like given us so much back in helping us to be able to understand what he's about. I mean, how many videos have we watched of him on Swedish Idol where we had no idea what the judges were mm -hmm. saying and people would literally translate word for word to that. Exactly, like how, how long I, Exactly, would that right? I mean, take? I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't even write a full essay if I was back in college. <laughs> That's why I barely graduated, right? <laughs> I mean, th the whole point of this is that certain fandoms really go out of their way and you know that because of that, one is, there's something about the artist. It speaks well to the artist. Otherwise, you know, you have a bad fan base, you got an artist who probably is fueling that. Mm -hmm. But second, it shows that there's going to be great longevity, I think, for the artist. Right. Because right. half the fun then isn't about what Chris does. Mm -hmm. Half the fun isn't about the music that he puts out. It's about being part of that group. And mm -hmm. I feel like there's certain groups out there that have transcended time, mm -hmm. right? In terms of like the Jimmy Buffett fans, the Grateful Dead fans. I think even today, you could think of it like BTS fan base is very similar in that regards. But being part of this fan base has just been a, a real, I, I would just want to say delight, but I feel like it doesn't go far enough to express how much we appreciate, um, you know, doing this. And it's not just reactions anymore. It is, you know, us looking forward to being part of this group. That's right. Community. Community. <laughs> Community. Mm. That's what it is. Oh, this is so sweet of you, Jimmy. So grateful. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Thank you for all the fans. Thanks.